Hey guys, Mike here from Mike Sticker. So I wanted to talk to you all today about the initial cost of setting up a sticker shop like what I have. So this is just in my own house, extra bedroom. This is something that started out as a side hustle, but it's meant to be a full-time business and that's what I'm trying to make it go towards. So um, really this is going to be the cost to do it to the level that I'm doing it right now. Um, not messing around with buying equipment that I don't need, um, not trying to figure it out as I go along. This is what I would buy right now if I did it all over again because um, I wasted a lot of money in the beginning buying a bunch of stuff that I didn't need. So check out the rest of the video to see exactly what it's going to cost to get it set up the way that I have it right now. Alright, so first piece of equipment that I would buy if I was setting up a sticker shop and I'm talking about just doing die cut stickers not messing around with labels or anything like that right now because I did start out buying a label maker first and that was a big uh, initial cost um, so when I first started out I didn't know which direction I was going I didn't know if I was gonna be making t-shirts if I was gonna be doing cut vinyl if I was gonna be, you know I thought I was gonna do it all yard signs everything else so um, right now I'm trying to narrow the focus and do something that's a repetitive process so that I can just do jobs like that, do it quickly and get them uh, finished up and out the door, shipped out. And so the first piece of equipment I would buy is the Roland BN20. They do have, uh, so uh, sorry, this is the Roland BN20A. This is the one that doesn't use white ink. They have a different version of it that does have white ink. That costs more money, it's more maintenance, There's that's a whole different thing. But this is the one that I would get if I was starting out and I just wanted to save some money. Um, this one right now you can get a good deal on I believe you can get it for almost half as much as what I originally paid for it because they have them on sale because a new version came out the new version is way better if you can afford the new version that's the one I would recommend the name is almost the same I think it's the Roland BN uh, sorry uh, yeah the BN2 20A and I believe that one's gonna start out about probably at least two or three thousand dollars more than this one and then I'm gonna go over all the cost of everything here in a minute um, or actually you know what I'll do it here I'll read off a little cheat sheet here so um, the Roland BN20A I see it right now listed for uh, with the inks that you would need to start out four thousand three hundred and fifty dollars and ninety six cents um, I think it's listed like thirty nine ninety five or something like that without the inks that's just the machine with no stand, no bundle, or anything like that. When I bought it, I did buy it with a bundle, but it didn't come with the stand. Uh, all the stuff that it came with the bundle, I didn't really need. The only thing you need is ink and the printer. Um, you're going to want to buy your own vinyl, your own laminate. You don't want to use any of the stuff that comes with any of the bundles. And then the other uh, piece of equipment would be the Graphtec uh, CE7000-60. It's the 24-inch version this prints on 20 inch media that will cut 24 inch wide vinyl all the other stuff i use my roland uh, or sorry my rotary cutter and my laminator they both handle 24 inch material so this is a system set up the way that i'm doing it to handle up to 24 inch wide material but of course the roland is maxed out at 20 inch material so really i'm doing everything 20 inches um, and then so the, the Graphtec CE7000-60 is $1,895. That price seems to be consistent. That price doesn't fluctuate. This machine is solid. They don't have a reason to discount it. It's high in demand. Um, it's the one piece of equipment that I kept putting off and not buying and thinking, well, is it really worth that much money? Is it really that much better than the other cutter that I had? And that machine is by far, I think, the best bang for the buck. I think that machine is amazing for that price. I don't think it's overpriced at all. Uh, $1,800 or you know, $1,900 for that machine, it's worth every penny of it. So don't hesitate buying a Graphtec. It's worth every penny of it for sure. That's, I, I regret not buying it quicker. And then um, I'm gonna show, you know, some, I guess, uh, probably some screenshot links to some of this other stuff or all the equipment at the end of the video uh, so that I don't have to, you know, move the camera all around. But behind you over here, I have the rotary cutter that I'm using. It's a 24 inch rotary cutter. That cost me $126.99. 
I have my, on this side over here, I have my 24 inch cold rolled, uh, cold roll laminator. Uh, both of those things are just cheap off of Amazon. I'm going to put the links to all of this in the video description so y'all can just click on that video description and check it out. But this was $149. Um, that price has stayed consistent. Same thing with the rotary cutter. I don't think those prices have changed because they're good, you know, for what they are. And quite frankly, I would buy them again at that price in a heartbeat. Um, <clears throat> as far as on the computer, I'm using Corel Draw for doing uh, my cut lines and setting up everything. The, uh, the Roland BN20 comes with VersaWorks. I believe you can create cut lines in VersaWorks somehow. I don't mess with any of that. I do all my setup. I do all my gra the graphic design that I do is very very limited. But what I do, I use Corel Draw for that. And uh, Corel Draw, you know, it's not as expensive as something like Adobe Illustrator, but it is kind of expensive. I'm paying forty dollars a month for it. I think it's thirty nine ninety five or something like that. Um, and then as far as the material goes, you need some material to get started with. When I bought the Roland, like I said, I got it with a bundle. It came with a whole bunch of material and everything else that I got with it that I didn't even end up using. Um, I originally got a heat press and all kinds of stuff to go with everything, thinking I was going to use some of that, and I didn't. But um, the uh, so don't bother with that. So I'm I'm using the material I'm using for this machine is from Substance Incorporated. I'll put a link to everything in there. I don't remember the exact part uh, part numbers right now, but it's um, for the print media. It's, I believe it's 2.75 mil material, same thing with the laminate, they're both 2.75 mil, and um, they're, I'll put links for both of them in there. I buy them in bigger bulk, I buy them in 60 inch rolls, I have those cut down into three equal 20 inch rolls, you can specify with them and they'll do that for you, and, and they don't charge anything extra for that. Also, it's free shipping, um, I'm not sure if it's at a certain price point, but for everything I order, it's free shipping. And then um, for the laminate, same thing. It's uh, I, I buy it typically at a 60 inch roll, have a cut down into three sections that are 20 inches, but you can buy just 20 inch sections. When you buy just the 20 inch sections, they're $89.99 a piece. Um, they're 150 foot sections, or, or 150 foot rolls, I believe. And, uh, like I said, by 20 inches wide. And so it's when you break it down, it's, you know, pretty inexpensive per square foot but when you buy it at 60 uh, 60 inches long you're basically basically getting one of those sections for free um, the cost savings is that good so that's why I always buy it in the 60 inch rolls so anyways like I said I'm gonna post a link to everything in the video description so y'all check it out and the other thing I wanted to say is I noticed uh, I was checking out the analytics for the channel. You know, I'm trying to really do more on this channel and I'm spending more time. I'm spending money on the video equipment, lighting and all that stuff. And I'm trying to really push that. So y'all help me out. Please help me out. Subscribe to the videos or subscribe to the channel. I noticed that only 29.9% of people are subscribed to the channel. There's, you know, 70% of y'all that actually watch the videos are not subscribed so please help me out that doesn't cost y'all anything but it helps me out a lot it helps the algorithm which helps to push the video to other viewers and that's going to help me get more ad revenue it's going to help me put more into these videos i really want to be able to buy some more equipment so that i can you know learn how to use that equipment and then show y'all how to use that equipment and if i can make some revenue off this channel i'm going to use that that money to buy more equipment so please do what you can to help me out and please subscribe please all you got to do is hit that subscribe button and it helps me out so much so um, anything you know y'all can also like and comment that also really helps the algorithm but I need more subscribers to, to keep hitting that button because it's crazy that only you know around 30% of people that watch the videos are actually subscribed so help me out and uh, you know I'm gonna keep putting out some more videos, right, guys so, so just to reemphasize, this is the basic equipment that you have to have. There's some other just small, you know, I mean, you're going to need tables to put stuff on. You can improvise with that. There's other stuff you can improvise with that, you know, you can find around the house, stuff you might already have. But this is the basic stuff you need. Um, here's the Roland BN20A. 
This one here is US Cutter. Sorry about that. Um, this one here they have on sale right now for $39.95. As you can see, it says normal price is $52.95. Like I said, I paid quite a bit more for this when I originally got it. And, um, you know, it's a great machine, and I would definitely buy it again, but I want something faster. I want something that performs a little bit better, but this definitely gets the job done, and there's definitely nothing else at this price point that can do the same thing at this quality level. So it's true professional quality ink, and it's going to do everything that I need it to do. It does print and cut, so you can get by cutting with this until you're able to buy the Graphtech. So that's the other good thing. It takes, you know, some some finagling and getting used to and calibration and all that. It's definitely not nearly as good as having the Graphtech to pair with it. The great thing with the Graphtech is you can print on this while you're cutting on the Graphtech. You know, you can get a lot more production done, a, lo a lot more pr productivity. Um, the basic machine is $39.95. When you add the ink that you need, it comes out to $43.50.96. And, um, you know, it's a great machine for that price, honestly. So if you have the money, then you could get the new version of it. Looks completely different. Performs much, much better from what I've heard. It's way faster. And as you can see, it's a lot more money. It's $64.95. That's without the ink. Oh, when you add the ink, it's $68.50.96. So if you can spend it, if you you know if you can swing it and spend the extra money, then I would definitely recommend getting this one because that's the one that I would, you know, like to have if I was doing this all over again. But it's not the printer I currently want to upgrade to. Um, I've talked about that in another video. But anyways, it's a good machine. I've heard good things about it. You know, it'd be nice to have one so that I could teach y'all, you know, how to use it and all that. But I don't have one. So the next machine that you, you would need is the Graphtech CE7000-60. It's the 24-inch cutter. They make a smaller version of it, but I recommend the, or they make a bigger version also. But I recommend the 24-inch uh, if you're pairing it up with the Graphtech. It's $18.95. Like I said, that price pretty, pretty much stays consistent. Um, not much to say about it. This machine is great. Um, it's good and solid. It comes with everything you need. Uh, let me see. If you wanted the bigger one, they have a 50-inch version of it. And it says it's $48.95 for that one. See, 50 inch isn't quite where I'd want to be at. For me, I need it to be at least 54 inch or 60 inch to pair it up with the next printers that I want to upgrade to. So whenever I, you know, upgrade, I'll have to go to one of their other ones. I think they have a different series that's not the CE 7000. It's going to be a whole different machine, but I think they do make one that'll accommodate my needs in the future. And then the next thing that I have here is my rotary cutter I got this one off of Amazon this is what I use to cut down my laminate $126 I put the laminate in there and just slide the cutter over it to trim it down to the size that I want y'all seen it in my videos and uh, not much else to say about it it supposedly sharpens itself as you use it so it's like maintenance free um, yeah pretty basic next thing will be the cold rolled laminator cold roll laminator and uh, this one was $149 I bought it off of Amazon also and it's uh, very basic not much to it you know it gets the job done and uh, I'm sure that there's better stuff out there but this one works good for the price and I haven't felt the need to upgrade it so both this and the rotary cutter two things I bought off Amazon that at this point I don't feel the need to upgrade them at all when I go to bigger machines that handle bigger equipment then I'll have to end up upgrading this but that's the only time I think I'll need to and then uh, that comes down to the actual machines that you just absolutely have to have to get started and you can definitely get started with just those machines and then you want to have some print media to print on I'm using Substance Incorporated, the Icon uh, 
This is PM for print media, 2755. It's 2.75 mil premium polymeric print media with flow technology. This means that the bubbles will release out of it as long as they're, I guess, kind of smaller. They can't be, you know, giant wrinkles all in it, but um, it will push out. I think when you put the laminate on it, it doesn't work like that anymore. It kind of defeats the the uh, flow technology, but this is what I'm using. You can check, uh, select different colors. Of course, I'm ordering white, but they have holographic chrome. They have silver chrome. They have different finish types. So I, for me, I always use the gloss white. And then you can see they have it in 20 by 150. They have 30 by 150. They have 54 by 150 and 60 by 150. Um, I order it in 20 by 150 if I have to, but usually I order it in 60 by 150. As you can see, that's $224.95. You're saving a lot of money when you buy it like that. When you buy it just 20 inches, it's 94.95. I think the price went up a little bit. I think the last time I looked it was 89.99, and that's what I said in the video earlier. Um, so it looks like the price might have just gone up a little bit. And let me see. Yeah, because this used to. Well, yeah, this might be the, the same price, or that might have been. That might have gone up too. I'm not sure. But anyway, so that's for the print media. And then the laminate that I'm using is from the same company. It's the Icon PL for print laminate, or sorry, for, I don't know, PL. I know the L stands for laminate. 3150. It's 2.75 mil also. And um, I always get, of course, clear, but they do have different, basically you can get like a... Uh, I don't know, I guess it kind of creates like a holographic effect over the top of it. And I haven't tried out any of these. They will send you samples of certain ones if you want. I always get the clear and I always get matte. And I have gotten gloss in the past and I use it for certain applications when I need to. But typically I get the matte. Same thing, I get it 60 by 150. And you can see it's the same price as the uh, actual print media and like the 20 inch is still 89.95 so that's the stuff that I'm definitely using um, I, like I said when I first started out I bought a bunch of stuff that I didn't actually need wasted some money wasted some time but that's the basic stuff you need so anyways thanks for watching guys y'all take it easy please like share subscribe